It was 1660. Robert Hooke, a contemporary of Sir Isaac Newton, was sitting in his lab. All of a sudden, he noticed a spring. He wanted to understand the behavior of a spring. So he stretched it, he compressed it, he let it go. And he realized that force has something to do with the stretch. And he hypothesized F is proportional to X, X is the displacement of the spring. And then he wanted to understand how much work he has to do to stretch it. And then he realized that the potential energy stored in the spring is proportional to X squared, which is also the square of the displacement. Now, after law, a series of experiments, he ended up realized F is actually equal to K. X, K is the Hooke's constant or steepness of a spring and P E is actually half K X squared and again K is the steepness of a spring. For example, uh, so this spring now has a bigger K. This spring has a bigger K than the spring on the other side. Now let's get started with this lapse. Our goal is to find the mass of the orange and here's what, how we can find it. 50 gram. 50 gram. 50 gram and this is 100 gram 100 gram so this indeed 0 0.05 kilogram 0 0.05 kilogram and this one 0 0.16 meter and 100 divided by 1000 would be 0 0.1 0 0.1 kilogram 0 0.5 times 9.8 okay 9.8 and 49 Newton okay and 0.1 times 9.8 that would be 0.98 so this one would be 0.98 Newton okay so what are you going to do with this we're going to use the Hooke's law so what is Hooke's law tells us f is equal to kx what does that mean that means k is equal to f over x over x final minus x initial okay so k okay, f final we can say that this is 0 0.98 minus 0.49 and this one is uh, let's see um, 0.16 minus 0.08 all right so we can erase everything over here so let's see what we get so 0 0.98 minus 0.49 is 0.49 k is equal to 0.49 divided by 0.16 minus 0.08 is 0.08. So 0.49 divided by 0.08 would be 6.125. 6.125. I'm gonna recheck. Okay, so this look like okay. Uh, 0.32. Gonna write 0.32. Uh, because uh, 32 centimeter is 0.32 meter so that means f is uh, 6.125 times 0.32 is 1.96 1.96 Newton so f equal to ma we want the mass so mass is f over a so m is f over g so f is 1.96 g is 9.8 so divide by 9.8 and that would be 0.2 mass is 0.2 kilogram so we want to convert it to the gram so mass is 0.2 kilogram well you don't have to convert it to the gram but you know if you really convert it to gram this would be 200 gram but that's not as a unit this unknown mass would be this one would be 200 gram or 200 gram or 0.2 kilograms.